Hey fellow sim racing fans! As we eagerly await the arrival of Zeta Corsa 2, which is scheduled for the second quarter of 2024, today's video is all about the features that could redefine the sim racing experience. Now, I want to set the stage by letting you know that we'll be skipping over the expected improvements like graphics, sound models and user interface. We're going to be diving more into the nitty gritty details, the stuff that might not be immediately apparent but can truly elevate the gameplay. As a disclaimer, I should mention a couple of things about myself and this video. I'm in no way a professional in this regard, just your average Joe sim racer with wishes about an upcoming simulator. The main topics that we will touch on this video are the improved physics, force feedback, game content, modding, racing rules and modes. While some of you are already entirely happy with what we have in the original Assetto Corsa and you might even disagree with me on some or even all the areas, do keep that in mind that these are just opinions and wishes of, as I've said, an average Joe sim racer. So join me as we navigate through these expectations a dive into the wishlist that could make Assetto Corsa 2 the ultimate racing simulation. Let's rev up the speculation and explore the features that might just put the sequel in a league of its own. Improved Physics In the upcoming iteration of Assetto Corsa, one aspect that I'm eagerly anticipating to see enhanced is the driving physics of the simulation. While the original Assetto Corsa set a high standard for its time with the commendable handling model and overall physics, it's evident that there is room for improvement. The current version relies on a somewhat outdated tire model, characterized by a single contact point and a lack of flex. This is an area where I believe significant updates are likely in the new installment. Taking inspiration from the advancement seen on Assetto Corsa Competizione, or ACC, which already boasts an upgraded handling and physics model, it's clear that progress is ongoing. The latest updates in ACC have demonstrated further refinement, and I fully expect Assetto Corsa 2 to build upon this foundation. Anticipating greater adaptability for an expected variety of cars, I look forward to the improved driving experience that the enhanced physics in AC2 could bring to the table. Improved Force Feedback While the original Assetto Corsa is widely praised for having one of the greatest force feedback systems in the market, I find myself yearning for a more refined experience, especially with the anticipated improvements in physics. Undoubtedly the force feedback is good, and I, like many others, can extract valuable information about the car's behavior, however it still falls short of what I envision at the pinnacle. The current sensation is somewhat plain, almost artificial and overly smooth. Now I understand that finding the right settings for your wheel can enhance the experience, and I've dedicated countless hours to achieving that ideal configuration. Yet, as many sim racers would agree, settings can only take you so far. With the promise of improved physics in Assetto Corsa 2, I'm optimistic about a refined force feedback that goes beyond just tweaking settings. I hope for a nuanced improvement that truly connects the wheel to the car, allowing us to feel every contour of the road. It's about creating an experience where the wheel becomes a conduit, transmitting every subtle detail to the of the surface to us, the drivers, enriching our seam rigs with an unparalleled sense of immersion. Track and car content In both the simulated universe of sim racing and the visceral realm of motorsport, preferences vary across nearly every aspect. The only way to cater to this adverse array of taste is by offering a multitude of tracks. Assetto Corsa 2 needs to provide not only classical circuits, some long forgotten in the pages of history, but also a spectrum of new tracks, be they paved or rugged dirt trails, closed circuits or open point-to-point -point routes from A to B. To truly elevate the exper experience, we require a rich assortment of cars that spans the entire automotive spectrum. Road cars, rally cars, race cars, open wheelers, drift machines, you name it, Assetto Corsa 2 needs it. Here's hoping Kunos truly rises to the occasion. While it's true that modding can fill these gaps and sometimes even surpass the original game content in quality, it still demands additional effort and setup to get everything up and running. It's a double-edged sword, a positive aspect for, for those who relish customization, yet a potential drawback that 
that may discourage those who simply want to fire up the sim and hit the track without the extra fuss. Modability while my enthusiasm for a diverse range of track and car content is unwavering, the modability of the sim remains an indispensable aspect, a feature that turned the original Assetto Corsa into a true gem. Despite Kunis' efforts to pack the scene with content, there are inherent limitations. These constraints stem from licenses they can acquire, the bonds of imagination, and most crucially, the time required to develop each piece of content. Let's face it, sometimes mods are there purely for the joy of it. I mean, who wouldn't relish the experience of driving a motorized shopping trolley around the track? It's these quirky, imaginative additions that keep the sim racing community vibrant and entertaining. Beyond the sheer fun of unconventional mods, modability has blessed us with a plethora of practical content and apps in a set of Corsa. I'm willing to bet that everyone has at least one non-track, non-car mod in their virtual garage that they can't imagine driving without. Whether it's a handy app that enhances the user interface, or a performance tweak that fine-tunes the driving experience, modability has added layers of personalization that elevated Assetto Corsa to a whole new, whole new level and is something I can't imagine Assetto Corsa 2 without. different modes and adjustable rules. While the original Assetto Corsa already caters to various modes of driving, from circuit racing and point-to-point -point time attacks to drag racing and drifting, I believe there's ample room for expansion in Assetto Corsa 2. One notable area for improvement is the configurability of events. While the original offers a standing start, it would be fantastic to see an inclusion of a flying start, for example, and the option to incorporate a formation lap. Moreover, the configurability of pit requirements and limitations is an aspect where Assetto Corsa 2 could excel. Enabling players to control factors such as the number of new sets of tires each car can use, the types of compounds allowed during the race, and the frequency of pit stops adds an extra layer of strategy and realism to the, to the gameplay. Presently, the original Assetto Corsa 2 lacks in-depth control over the use of systems like the DRS, for example, or the drag reduction system. While it restricts usage to specific track sections, there is room for improvement. Incorporating real-world requirements like allowing DRS only when following an opponent within a one-second gap, or implementing restrictions for a few laps after the race start or restart, could enhance the authenticity of the racing experience. Additionally, introducing special rules from various race series directly into the base game would be a welcome feature. While modding can currently achieve this in the original Assetto Corsa, integrating such functionalities into the base game content streamlines the experience, eliminating the need for additional setup and ensuring a more seamless and immersive gameplay for all racing enthusiasts. As we wrap up our journey into the realm of speculation and wishful thinking for Assetto Corsa 2, the possibilities ahead are exhilarating. From the anticipation of improved physics and force feedback to the yearning of an extensive array of tracks and cars, modability and expanded race modes, the wish list is vividly painted. Assetto Corsa has been a cornerstone for sim racing and the prospect of a sequel brings with it the promise of innovation and an even more immersive driving experience. Whether you're a seasoned racer or a casual enthusiast, the desire for a diverse and customizable racing environment is universal. As we await official details, let's celebrate the joy of being part of a community that thrives on the love for virtual racing. What are your hopes and expectations for Assetto Corsa 2? I would love to hear from you about your wishes and ideas about Assetto Corsa 2, so feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Until the next video, I wish you all the best in your virtual races, and remember to keep the excitement alive and the wheel spinning. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye!